We're here at Texas World Speedway. One of the tracks that we've been here before, but not in the Nationwide Series. First time for the Nationwide Series. So how will the car perform? We don't know. But uh, it's going to be wild. That's what we know. That's all we know. Charles Sanford sits on a pole once again. Kyle Larson second, third Chris Kyle, fourth Regina Palange, fifth Bob Johansson, sixth Colin Martell, seventh Seth Gentlemen, Brown, eighth Ben. Oh shit. We got the place to ten, but uh, I'll do it later. Alright, field is rolling off. And the 43, Jason Tross is heading down to the apron. Looks like he already has problems. Gonna move back up. Two mile track. High bankings, dangerous racing. We've seen the all finishes here. Chris Kyle's won here before, but he won it in a Gen 5 car. Never won it in the nationwide style cars or anything else. There goes the pace car, and here we go. I don't know if someone else won it. Green flag. Charles Sanford gets a good start. Two of the Chevys pushing. Trying to push. They're going four wide back there. They're still four wide, but it's a wide track. They got room. And oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, man. Big crash. Huge. And there goes the 14. Upside down. Barrel rolling like crazy. Still barrel rolling. Oh, man. Looks like Charles Sanford is the leader still. Larson comes up short. He'll restart second, looks like. And let's take a look at the replay. DJ Curtis hooks the back end of Seth Brown, got him loose, then turned him. Bob Trenton also near, almost got turned, got Ben Siebert, Bob Trent, uh, no, Bob Major. Grant Thomas. Look at that 10 car. Kale runs right under him. See the 14 going around. And the 20 goes, flips him over. <laughs> My god. Why do they have to be so damn noisy? And they yell at me for being noisy. So anyways, see, oh man, that was crazy right there. Brad Johnson runs right under him. And he's still rolling. And that whole car flies into the air again. We're going to board with the 10 car, which I was supposed to replace, but did not. We're going to re rewind this. We go full speed right here. And that's wild right there. Good thing there's a safer barrier. Now I'll take you back to the restart. So, getting ready to go back racing. There are six drivers out of the race, 43 cars a lap down. Here we go. Green flag. The giant plan does not get a good start. No one drops to the inside to help the 43. Larson follows Sanford. Here comes the seven car once again. Larson looks to the inside. Three wide. Two rows. Okay, not anymore. Got some Penske drivers helping each other. Maybe. A two it feels like a super speedway. This was actually classified as a super speedway that the caution came out. My 
check the NASCAR.com website, two more tracks were considered as super speedways and Daytona Talladega were plate tracks. So, whatever. We're still going to run them in the rookie series. Anyways, Brian Brown giving a hell of a push to that 25 car. Colin Martell on the bottom. Bob Trenton up high. Look at those line of drivers. Connor Smith, Ash Curtis gets forced to the apron. There is no yellow line here. They're allowed to pass on the apron if they wanted to. Ken Trader now making the move. Connor Smith on the bottom. No. Can't make the pass yet. And oh, there they go again. Austin Dillon turned around right in front of Larson. Big wreck. Parker Klingerman. Sam Curtis is blowing up. Another big crash. Andy Trent. Grant Thomas again. Jason Tross. And it looks to be Brian Brown. No, not Brian Brown. No. That was Brian Brown for a second. Ken Schrader leading under the caution flag. Let's take a look at the replay. Take a look here. I don't know what actually happened. Take a look at the helicopter cam. Chris Kyle hooks the back end of Carl Long. And they all got spinning around. Wait, did I say classified? I don't think I should use that word. Larson got a piece. Hall Martin comes right back from Ian Siegel. Look at that. Parker Clarenman runs right into Noodles Newly. Noodles back into the 44 Hall Martin. Then that was then Andy Tran. Grant Thomas. Oh, whoa, that's a big hit right there. And that ends their day. Wait, does Sam Curtis hit someone? I didn't really see. I think he did. Who does he hit? Oh, the six, his teammate, Chris Watcher. Well, I'll take you back to the restart. Alright. So now we only have 29 drivers on track. Tire problem for the 77, the four car accident, a lot more and all that stuff. Pace cards about to head down pit road. He's there he there he goes. There it is, green flag. Connor Smith making the move. He gets the lead now. Gomer Town third. Trying to take second. Ash Curtis top to bottom. Trying to make a three wide maybe. Whoa, got shuffled there. A little contact. More contact. There goes the 33. Into Ken Schrader. Hard. Charles Sand. Oh my god. And they all pile up again on uh, la 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 la. And another big wreck. And Colin Martell, the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. See, Colin Martell got pushed up to the high side by Ash Curtis. Then he gets hooked, and that forces Ash Curtis to the bottom. And there he goes. Man, that 54 nearly gets involved. Wow, Ken Schrader took a hard hit. Charles Sanford, Ian Siegel a little bit. Ken, and then David Reagan, Brian Brown, Kyle Larson, the 24. Jason Trost, the second. And Warren Cherry. Ah. That's crazy. Why on board with the 62? He already has damage. And now he has even more damage. Look at that 52. Took two hard hits. Right into the 33. Goes up in the air. Now I'll take you back to the restart. Alright. Here we go. There goes the pace car. Colin Martel is still the leader. The 44 is two laps down. I don't think he's on track though. Nope. Yes he is. Green flag. Got a good start. Hopefully you don't end this race under caution. Look how small the pack just shrunk. 
I don't know how many cars are gonna race for the win. I'm guessing only these ones. There's no way for these to catch catch up. DJ Curtis getting pushed by John McNamara. Looking to the inside, trying to pass. Mike Bliss, two chase contenders trying to bump. And whoa, near contact. Got another one right there. Might go four wide. There are four wide. Two laps to go. They're catching that 12. Gonna try to deny his third win of the season. Non-chase contender. John McNamara moves up to second now. He's got a little bit of help. Now DJ Curtis is gonna push. Nope. Whoa, the seven. Whoa, we're about to come. Get the white flag. Here they come. White flags in the air. One more lap. Who's it gonna be? Can John McNamara make two in a row? He's looking. Connor Smith in third. Zero wins in the Nationwide Series. Trying to look for his first one today. Whoa, coming back on track. Well, that slowed him down. That just denied it. Colin Martell still has a chance. Will he make his inside? Side by side for the lead. Here they come. Who's it going to be? John McNamara looks to be the winner. Can't make it. And John McNamara gets another win. Second win of the season. Leave us two in a row, yep. Now we'll take a look at the race results. Alright, got John McNamara wins it again. Colin Martell second. Third Mike Bliss, fourth Ian Siegel, fifth Connor Smith was so close to winning it. Uh reports on a tower. Noodles newly will get penalized twenty points for merging in front of fast traffic. It's supposed to be ten. But he was coming off of pit road and all that. Jordan Nipilito, 6th, 7th Regina Palanch, 8th DJ Curtis, 9th David Reagan, 10th Kyle Thomas, 11th Chris Kyle, 12th Austin Dillon, 13th Jeffrey Earnhardt, 14th Seth Brown, 15th Tom Gerard, 16th Riley Houston, 17th Bob Trunson, 18th Hayden Chung, 19th Chris Roger, and 20th Noodles Noodley. Here's the rest. Hope you enjoyed today's race. We'll see you at Texas and now I'll take you to Victory Lane. Alright, the point standings. Ash Curtis, Chris Kyle remains in 1 2. 74 point lead. The only driver in, in 6,000 6, points area. John McNamara moves up one spot. Brian Brown down one. Regina Palange up one. George Truss down one. Hayden Chung, Kyle Thomas remain in 7th and 8th. DJ Curtis up 1. Christopher Kale down 1. And here's the rest of the point standings.